I want to welcome you all to the grand illumination tonight. This is going to be a good time. We're here at the beautiful Bicentennial Park on a beautiful night. It is a little chilly, but that's what puts us in the festive holiday mood, so we're happy for that. Let's give another big round of applause for the Columbus Children's Choir. on that. He's from COSI, so please give a warm welcome to Steve Witt. Now we here at COSI have made an amazing discovery. We have discovered that reindeer fly, not because of magic corn or anything else, but because of the power of something called liquid nitrogen. Are you ready to see this? All right. specially modified for this demonstration. You'll notice that at the end of Squirty we have a plastic pop bottle. Into this plastic pop bottle we are going to put some of this stuff called liquid nitrogen. 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And the amazing thing is even though it's very very cold it is always boiling, changing from a liquid to a gas and when it does that it grows. Let me show you what happens. very carefully put the liquid nitrogen into Squirty, being certain not to spill. Oops. Actually, it's fine. Nitrogen makes up most of the air. We're just making more air, so that's fine. And now, we will place Squirty on the launching pad. I shall need a countdown. Five, four, three, Reindeer. Steve, that was really cool. Good stuff there. At this time, please welcome to the stage Mr. Alan McKnight. He's the director of the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department. Thank you, Yolanda. Hey, it's great to be here this evening. Great to be here for the grand illumination and new tradition with the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department in the city of Columbus. I want to thank all of you. It's a great crowd out here. Beautiful night, isn't it? I always did wonder how reindeers flew, now I know. The Grand Illumination is presented by the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department and is made possible through the generous support of American Electric Power Foundation, COSI, Milestone 229, Ohio Cat, O'Neill Tents and Party Supplies, the Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens, Ballet Matt Columbus, Columbus Blue Jackets, Mad River Mountain, Columbus Children's Choir, Kappa, Girl Scouts, Cadet Troop 622, Springfield Acme Electric, and Page Tech Limited, and of course, ABC6, Fox 28. Let's give a round of applause for all of our sponsors. We couldn't do this event without their support, so thank them if you get the opportunity. One of the traditions that Recreation and Parks has started a number of years ago is the Empty Bowls program. That's a collaboration between local artists and a variety of businesses and churches and essentially the artists go out and manufacture or make some ceramic bowls, some artistic bowls, and then we go out and work with the community and we sell those bowls with a bowl of soup along with a, a piece of bread and all the proceeds from those, that event goes to the Middle Ohio Food Bank. We've been doing that now for 15 years. And so in the spirit of giving tonight with the Empty Bowls Project, we do have uh, the bowls up here for sale. Milestone 229 is providing uh, their macaroni and cheese, and if you have not had their macaroni and cheese, it's wonderful. If you get an opportunity, go up and buy a bowl for $10. You can also get the mac and cheese for $5 without buying a bowl, but you want to take one of the bowls with you. Over the years, though, uh, the last 14 years in doing this program, 
we've contributed over $150,000 to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. So that's a fantastic charity, fantastic program. We appreciate all of your support. At this time, I'd like to invite the Mid-Ohio Food Bank board member, Teresa Martin-Harris, to come forward. Teresa. And Teresa, this year, the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department, our community partners and the artists that have made these bowls, we'd like to present this check for $15,042.50 to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. Good evening, Columbus. On behalf of the Mid-Ohio Food Bank Board of Directors and Matt Havash, President and CEO, I'd like to thank you for this generous contribution. Each day, the Mid-Ohio Food Bank provides enough food for a, over 100,000 meals. The need continues to grow, and we are fortunate to live in a community like Columbus where caring people continue to support our cause to help feed the hungry. Every dollar that is donated to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank provides $8 of groceries. Many thanks for helping us feed the hungry. Have a blessed holiday season. Many thanks. Thank you very much, Teresa. Raise your hand if you get something to eat when you're hungry. You guys, you get something to eat when you're hungry? Well, see, not everyone is as, as fortunate as we are, so definitely please help us support the Mid-Ohio Food Bank and the less fortunate. It's a great cause, and they do wonderful things for our community. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of Columbus City Council. Give it up for Mr. Andrew Ginther. Happy holidays. What a great night in the city of Columbus. Are you excited about tonight? Yeah. How about another round of applause for America's best children's choir, the Columbus Children's Choir. We are thrilled to be with you tonight and so excited on such a beautiful night in Columbus in our city's bicentennial year to be here with you celebrating what has become a great tradition, the city's new holiday tradition, the Grand Illumination. It's transformed, transformed downtown into a spectacular urban light display that everyone can experience for free from tonight through mid-January. I'd like to thank uh, the best recreation and park staff in all of America, the very great Columbus Recreation and Park staff and director Alan McKnight, thank you for doing such a great job, and our commission as well. In addition to this stunning LED light show, showcasing over 16 million color variations new this year, the Scioto Maya Fountain, right behind most of you, will also feature dynamic seasonal imagery projected on the fountain blossom, creating a one-of-a-kind visual experience. And if that weren't enough, just a couple of blocks away, we walked by on our way here tonight, the Columbus Commons, there'll be thousands of more holiday lights that will illuminate the downtown landscape at this event and throughout this entire weekend of events over at the Commons. So after taking in everything over here tonight at Bicentennial Park around the Scioto uh, Mile Fountains, make sure you walk with me and my family just across the way and enjoy what's going to end up being a fabulous weekend over at Columbus Commons this weekend. I think they had nearly 10,000 people come through uh, last year through the holiday festival. And so now it's time to get on with this show. We have a special celebrity countdown to help us ring in this special season. Have a great night, everybody. Now is the moment everyone has been waiting for to help kick off the grand illumination of downtown Columbus, please enjoy this special video greeting from our mayor, Columbus Mayor Michael B. Coleman. Good evening, kids, and welcome to the grand illumination right here at the Bicentennial Park. This holiday season is such a special time. 
and we couldn't be more happy to help you share these memorable experiences with your family and your friends right here in the heart of downtown Columbus. Our bicentennial year has been full of wonderful events and surprises, including the transformation of our beautiful downtown area and riverfront. You know, this is our 200th year birthday, and it's, that is so special. We can't wait to show you what we have in store with the grand illumination of Bicentennial Park, the Saada Mile Promenade, and City Hall grounds. Once you see what we have in store for you, you'll still want to enjoy our parks even during these cold, wintry months. Now it's time. It's time, kids. It's time for the countdown of the grand illumination and a visit from our special guest, Santa. I need all of you to count down with me. Are you ready? Are you ready for the countdown? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Behold! in Columbus, right? I believe so, yes. Terrific. These are all the good kids. Have you gotten all their Christmas letters and their wishes for Christmas? I've heard a lot. Oh, they all, I think, are very high on the list. How was your ride in, Santa? It was great. And the city is so beautiful. And the park, it's so easy for the reindeer to look down and know exactly where to go. This was great. That is awesome. Are you guys glad to see Santa? Yeah. This has to be your favorite time of year, Santa. This is it. We work all year just for this season. Wow. Do you have goodies in your bag right now? I've got some good things for the good kids. I do indeed. That is awesome. Give a big round of applause if you've been good this year. 
That's what Santa likes to hear. Thanks, Santa. You have a seat. I know you had a, a long ride getting here. Thank we'll you so that. much. Thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks, everybody, for being out here this evening. Happy holidays. Have a safe and happy evening, and thank you for coming out. Good night.